Hello everybody, it's TubeAssist Pro and this is the main interface. Through style button, I can change style and color. The second one is advertisement. Account manager, to manage accounts, like adding accounts, binding proxies for accounts. Task manager, to manage tasks, like adding, setting up and run tasks. On the right side, this is settings button. Click it to complete settings. To show debug window or not, when task is running. The number of tasks that can run at the same time. To disable image or not in debug window. The number of modules that could be run at the same time on one account. Statistics and interval time functions are unavailable for now and still in test. This is a mini program. If it's enabled, it can automatically reopen and restore the main program that accidentally closes. Advertisement. If I turn it off, it will work when being restarted. If I enable this, I will be prompted to update the software. At last, click OK to save the settings. This is a help button. Users can get help from forum or support. For Category Manager, I can add accounts to one category for better management. Add a category, input a name, select a category, I can edit it, modify category name, select a category, I can delete it. For Account Manager, I need to select an account category so that I can manage accounts in it. Check the account category and add an account. Import account. Accounts can't be duplicated. Password and proxy. Proxy is optional. This is the added account. If you can't find a new added account, please check if you already checked the category before you add the account. If you have checked the category, please check if there is a scroll bar. Select the account, I can edit it. But more often, it is used to bind proxy for accounts. I can delete one or more selected accounts by hitting delete button. Import and export accounts. I can import accounts from a txt or csv file and export accounts file also in txt or csv format. But exporting it to a csv file is recommended. I need to check the account category before importing or exporting accounts. I import accounts from a CSV file, for example. For account limit, select accounts, click limit to start limit settings, including modules available, time and maximum running times, and interval time. Settings for each module are the same. The maximum running times in a period of time, interval time, time intervals for each run. Interval time will be randomly selected from the interval time range. Save the settings. Select one or more accounts. I can bind proxies. Hit proxy button. I can add proxy manually one by one. And I can import proxies from file. I can bind proxies for the accounts below. At last, save the proxy settings. Next, I will check accounts. Select an account, click start to check, and click stop to stop checking.
Open button. Select an account. Hit Open button to open a browser window, and load YouTube homepage according to login information of this account automatically. Here I can set timeout and user agent. Click OK to load YouTube homepage. Cache button to clear account cache, mainly to clean up the login information. Global blacklist is a list of blocked URL. When task is running, when one module meets URL in blacklist, the module will skip it and task will continue running. I can manually input URL. I can also import URL from the file. Save blacklist settings. This is global blacklist, and it will work on any account. Next, I will talk about task manager. Add a task first, and input a task name. No duplicate task name as far as possible. This is task module setting. Complete settings. Click OK. This is the task edit. Select a task, hit settings button, and modify task module settings. Hit delete button to delete selected task. Hit the rename button to rename selected task. Select a task. Hit copy button first, and then paste button. And I get a copy here. Select one or multiple tasks. Hit reset button to reset task settings. Select items to reset. I select all. For example, click OK. For import and export functions. Select a task. Hit import button. Select a file path and input file name. Hit import button. Select a task file to import. File imported and exported here must be in JSON format. Run and stop function to run a task and stop running task. Select a task and then run it. Task running settings, including running time and type. Run now, start to run at a specific time, or run at a specific time every day. Run a few times or loop. Finished task running settings. The selected task starts to run. That's all. Thank you.